Hello there and thanks for joining me. I'm Curl Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to answer a question from one of my viewers. This is a question from Ellie Taylor, and she wants to know if it's possible to open multiple reference image palettes in Corel Painter. So I have Corel Painter 2018 open here, and you can see in the bottom right I have an image loaded into my reference image palette. That's found under Window, Reference Image. Now unfortunately in Corel Painter you can only open one reference image palette, but I do have several workarounds that'll let you open multiple reference images. First, you can view your canvas in window mode. You do that down here in the bottom of the toolbar under document view. I'm gonna click that, that'll put my document into a window. And let's say that this is gonna be my working document. Then I can go to file open. I'll select my first reference image that appears in its own window here. I'll go ahead and go to open. Select another reference image and yet another. Now I can simply take those images and move them over. May want to resize them smaller. And then you may need to pan them around to get them to fit in the window by holding spacebar. And now I have my canvas here in a window and then I have multiple reference images over here on the side. And just like in the reference image palette, I can sample colors from within those reference images. And if I need to, I can use the magnifier tool to zoom in and out. Let's take a look at another method. We'll go to File, Place. We can select a reference image. We'll click on OK, and then OK once more. That places it into our document. We'll go to File, Place again, and we'll repeat that process. Now I have several images here on my canvas, and if I want to resize them, I can go to Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to hold Shift and drag so I don't squish it. And now that I have this composite, I can go to File, Save As. We'll go ahead and save this as Reference. And we can just save it as a PNG. I'll create my new canvas. And if I want to, I can open the reference image palette. And I can load that composite of reference images. And now I have multiple images loaded into that single reference image palette. And I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can sample colors, and I can pan around the view if I want to. Let's take a look at a third and final way to add multiple reference images to your canvas. I'm going to go to File New. And let's say we want our final output to be 11 by 14 at 150 pixels per inch. What I want to do here is add a little bit of space over on the side. So let's make the width 19 and the height 11. We can go ahead and make this full screen mode again. Let's go ahead and hit Control R to show the ruler. And I'm going to drag from the top ruler here to create a guide. And we want to put it right at 14. And that way we know that our canvas is over here on the left and over here on the right is some area for reference images. And when we need to crop this later to get it the right size, we know exactly where to cut it. So let's go to File Place. We'll select a reference image, place it in over here on the right side of our crop. And if we need to free transform it and make it smaller, we can do that. We'll go to File Place and we'll place another image. And we'll place a third image here. Now I have each of those three reference images loaded as individual layers in my composition. And of course I can turn them on and off. I can group them together and I can hide the entire group. And I can even lock that group by clicking on the lock icon so I don't accidentally paint on any of those reference image layers. If I want to, I can sample colors from within those reference images. Another tip that might be helpful when you're working in this method is to create a new layer. Select a medium gray color, and then select your rectangular marquee tool. And go ahead and just draw a rectangle over here surrounding your reference images. Then go to Edit Fill. You can name that layer Reference Background, and we just want to make sure that it's beneath all of those reference image layers. We can deselect our selection with Control D. Now we have a nice neutral gray background for our reference images which helps us see where our canvas begins and ends, and it helps us more accurately view the colors on the reference images. So there you go, Ellie. I hope that answers your question about how to load multiple reference images into Corel Painter. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.